hey my cutie so first thing i want to say is just thank you for coming back to my channel and also happy late thanksgiving to all since this is still around that time so the first thing i'm doing is i'm going in with my mid secret prep dehydrator and i'm just putting it on all of my nails two times on each hand and then i go in with my young nails protein pond and i do the same thing and excuse the ashiness i had literally just soaked off my wedding nails before this um that set was actually a feel but i had some really bad lifting really really bad lifting i didn't do a good job of um, going around my cuticle area so that's why i just plus i wanted a new shape i was in the move for stilettos so this is my um mia secret acrylic powder it's in the color cake and i'm going in on my dominant hand i'm actually using my non-dominant hand to do my dominant hand so i'm using my left hand to do my right hand and so i'm actually going in and i'm going to go ahead and apply that color at the tips of all of my nails and you want to go up just a little bit above where the tip and the natural nail meet and then you just taking um small beads mine are kind of thin at first um just to lay the foundation and then you'll see me go back to try to build it up just a bit just to get more color payoff but as you can see um that acrylic was actually sticking to the brush just a bit so if you you would see me dip my brush into the monomer wipe it on the side and then wipe it on the napkin just to get the excess out so it won't dry up in my brush and mess it up but once i've applied the acrylic to all of my nails um it's easier when you do ombres to go ahead and apply the color at the tips and then go back and apply the other color at the top so i'm taking my brush i use the size number eight and i dip it inside of my liquid monomer and then you see me brush my brush off on the side of the dampen dish and then i go into my mia secret cover paint and i get a medium size bead and I put that in the center of my nail and then I take the tip of my brush and push the top of the bead upwards towards my cuticle area. And once I have that closer to my cuticle area, then I go ahead and I take my brush and I just um, lightly feather the rest of the acrylic downwards towards the tip so that it can ombre and fade. Now, sometimes on some of my nails, I will go back and reapply that pink color or the color cake back towards my tip just because when I put the cover pink color, it actually um, covered it up more than I wanted it to. And you couldn't really see too much of the pink or the pink wasn't as vibrant as it should have been. So I'm going to go back in and add some more of the pink at the bottom and fade that in on the tip. And if you're wondering what tips I'm using, this is the BU brand from Amazon. Um, this is their stiletto tips, and I cut them down. I may also actually do a video on how I cut down my stiletto tips and shape them because at first it was hard for me to figure out how the hell I was going to cut these tips down. But I'm going back into my Mia Secret Cover Pink, and I'm just going a little bit um, above that bead that I did before that just to get closer to my cuticle area but not too close that I get acrylic on my cuticles um just close enough and then once I get close enough you see me um just feathering the acrylic downwards so that it can fade down again And once you do that, it's kind of just repetitive on all of the nails once you get the gist of the ombre. So once you um, apply the color on the tips, you go back on all of the nails and then you go on with your cover color. And I like to do the medium B first and apply it in the middle of my nail. And once I go in the middle of my nail, I'll take the top of that bead and press it upward towards my cuticle area. And once I've done that and feathered it down, I'll go away with another smaller bead at the very top of my cuticle area just to make sure I get as close to the cuticle as possible without touching the cuticle so my nails can be nice and neat. And then if you put the cover color down and you feel like it takes away from the color on the tip, you can always just add more color to the tip and then fade it again just so your ombre will look neat because you don't want to add color to the tip and then don't go back in and refade it because then your ombre will look sloppy and it won't look like an ombre it just won't be cute but once you go in and you've added the ombre on all of your nails um 
you want to go in and encapsulate all of those nails with clear acrylic as I'm doing here. And I just include a slow clip of my normal speed just to kind of give you the gist so you can see what's happening. But once you kind of get the gist of what's happening, I just speed it up for time purposes just so the video won't be too long. But also so you can get the gist of what is also happening as well. Now these nail tips, I do like them because I love the way they fit my natural nails. But they dip downwards like it's so weird. They don't have a natural C curve. They point upwards. So if I turn my nail to the side you will actually see like a dip in the middle which I hate but you guys can't see it but I can see it so I just want to give you guys or keep you mindful of that just in case you might have saw these tips or wanted to buy these tips they may look a little awkward to you and feel awkward but the average person looking at them from a distance won't be able to see the dip but that can also be fixed if you just build up your nail with a lot of clear acrylic where that dip is and then you can level out the nail that way i just didn't do that but once you're done applying the clear on all of your nails um you go in afterwards and you just perfect that shape even more because you know your shape gets messed up once you apply your acrylic so i'm just going in and perfecting my shape some more now I did not show how I did my ring finger because it was an experiment and I didn't turn on the camera and I also didn't really like it. Which is why in the design portion I have more stones towards the orange because I didn't like the color combo I chose. So I covered up the orange and let the blue and the pink seep through just because I thought that was cuter. But once you're done with that shaping, you're going to go in with, um, I actually use a flat top drill bit, the regular carbide drill bits. This is from the brand Yamari, it's Y-I-M-A-R-I -I off of Amazon, and this is the fine drill bit. And I'm going in on a not too slow of a speed, um, but not too fast that I cut myself. And I'm using my pinky, I'm sticking my pinky out so that I can have more control on the control over the drill so that I don't cut myself but I'm taking my time to go around my cuticle area this time to make sure I don't have any lifting and so far um, I noticed I've been getting better because with this set I still have them on right now as I'm doing this video and I don't have any lifting on this set so that just meant that I just say that to say to keep practicing because I will still have lifting after I do my nails um, so really make sure you pay attention to your cuticle area and make sure you really try your best to get that excess acrylic off of your cuticle area if you can and also just to seal your acrylic because if it's not sealed it will lift and get moisture underneath and then if it's like that for a long period of time you can also get greenies on your nails as well so to avoid all of that just make sure you try your best to go around your cuticle area with that drill bit just to make sure you don't have any lifting now luckily for me i've always caught my nails early enough that if i've had bad lifting i just took them off or i just redid them or things like that but some people don't catch it so i just want to give you guys a heads up on that just because that's something that i struggle with so once you've gone around your cuticle and you found the top of your nail and everything and it's round and smooth how you like it then we're going to go in and buff everything um you're going to buff it just to get all of the file lines out from the drill and if you use a hand file you're still going to buff it just to get all of the fine lines out from the file now sometimes i use the combo of the file and the drill it's all up to you but yes once you're done buffing you're going to go ahead and wash your hands and everything or use alcohol wipes um and wipe off your nails and then you design them as you please um i've designed my nails as i please off camera and then i'm using my pretty diva uv gel top coat no wipe and i'm just putting it in my lamp for 99 seconds and once you're done with that and you put it in your lamps for well you can put it in your lamp for however long you need to i just do 99 seconds to make sure it's cured and once you do that you go around your cuticles with some cuticle oil and once again like i said you know i designed my nails off camera just because um i never know what i'm going to do and i waste a lot of camera space just trying to figure it out on camera so i just always do it off camera but let me know in the comments if you want me to start showing it more on camera but once you put the cuticle oil on and you rub it in your fingers and everything um you are all set to go so that is all for this set i just want to thank you all so much for coming back to my channel and watching and don't forget to follow me on facebook and instagram at cutie crush 
k-u-t-i-e-k-r-u-s-h thank you so much my again my cuties and um have a well thanksgiving is over at this point but i hope you all had a happy thanksgiving once again and thank you so much for watching by my cuties Mwah.